been simply uh, wonderful in their generosity, making this magic in St. Louis happen. And half of the Singfield show is Dr. Jeannie Singfield, and we would say the better half too, because Rex is crazy. At any rate, <laughs> she's the reason number one in the family. You need the dreamers and you need the practical ones. And uh, welcome, first of all. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, you're seeing this U.S. championship happen. Uh, what does it feel like to see this come to St. Louis year after year? Well, it was, it was sort of like when we started, it was you figure you'd do one year, and, and you didn't realize how big a deal it was. You sort of ask, and they say, sure, you can have it at your club. Okay. And then it becomes Now, a, 10 years later. Yeah, it's like we're in... We're streaming it live to 191 countries and yeah. starting all these chess tournaments and chess clubs and people are getting fired up about chess in America. It's great, you know. It definitely made a big impact, a huge impact. I know you also have other initiatives as well. Tell us about the Boy Scouts initiative that just seems to be mushrooming right now. Yeah, it's like we had this little thing where Rex was, you know, the club was starting and teaching chess in a few schools, you know. So I always like to compete. So the Boy Scouts of America generously, I talked to them and they started to approve the Chess Merit Badge. So I now have 170,000 boys who earned the Chess Merit Badge. So this is my little back on Rex. That's so, extraordinary. So then he came back and did the uh, Sinkville Cup. Okay, so you know, I have to sort of come back with something <laughs> back, right? And, and uh, uh, with the Eagle Scouts, I think we have yeah. some video on your Eagle Scouts initiative. Well, the Eagle, well, here's what's happening. I didn't have to do, this is the best part of what I do. Rex has to do all this work and spend money and stuff. I just do a so Tom Sawyer approach. I need to look that way? I'm just showing you this graphic oh. we have oh, okay. on the screen with the Eagle Scouts. Uh, oh, projects? These were special projects. Special projects, LZ oh, Grace. Oh. Oh. Uh, special Operations Forces and First Responders. <coughs> uh, pretty pretty uh, extraordinary looking chessboard there. Go Army, I see, is one of the squares. Yeah, This is Duncan Guthrie who created this life-size chessboard. Beautiful. For a special forces retreat place, the sort of honor <coughs> that each of the pieces is in. But what was great about this is I didn't have to do anything. Eagle Scout, or not Life Scouts, who were trying to do an Eagle project, look and said, we can do something in chess. And so there's just these wonderful eagle projects. So if you're a life scout out there or you're a chess club, call your local Boy Scout troop. Let them make a chess park for you or make or teach chess to disabled kids or lots of, in, the kids that's are a, so that's creative. That's a very important point. We should make that note about that. Uh, if you, you do have that in your area, definitely check out the Boy Scouts because there's so many of them. I mean, 170,000 is more, I think, than the, the membership in the U.S. Chess Federation. So think about that. That's a massive number. So those of you who are trying to promote chess in your neck of the woods, check out the Boy Scouts and, and the initiative that uh, has been started by Dr. Jeannie Singfield. We do know we have uh, chess runs in the family, in the Singfield family. Yeah. Rex, of course, uh, is the godfather of it all, as you, you say. But he's got some young grandkids who are starting to play chess. And we have some beautiful video. To get some of your sick mate, you have to get them kept in a corner or everything around them. And, and if, um, if it's their turn, they can capture and get out. Wow, winning chess strategy. That's young Lincoln, I believe. Yeah, yeah. The video, the I think he was reading aloud from the chess chess book. He's just learned to read, so he's very he? five. Wow, getting while they're young. Yeah, <laughs> and he was reading about you know a chess strategy to his mom, so he can teach his mom how to play chess. Oh my goodness, is he ready to beat Rex yet? No, but I think that uh, Logan, my uh, son Randy's oldest is working on that. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to see a, a young Singfield in the Singfield Cup uh, one day? I don't know. It's always possible. <laughs> Ultimate move. Well, we totally appreciate your generosity and all the work that you do. I, I got another do... thing we're going to do. What is that? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to talk. I haven't, they haven't agreed or anything national to have a National Boy Scout team tournament, sort of like the Pro Chess League. Mm -hmm and have teams in each, in four regions across the country, and then they'll bring the winners to St. Louis to find the best Boy Scout team in America. 
Very nice. They haven't agreed. I, I'm but sure. But I'm in this discussion. Don't you think if you would have a grand you're a pro chess league, right? Well, I, I think, you know, as convincing as Dr. Jeannie Singfield can generally be, yeah. I, I think uh, we know it's going to happen. So yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for everything that you do for chess and continue to do for chess. We really appreciate the generosity. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Jeannie. Jeannie. And those Eagle Scout projects were actually uh, described in Chess Life magazine, and one of them was about uh, somebody who created a video series for this, the disabled, and then the other one was